Hey everybody, it's Sean here, back today to give you a review of the Salehi Benbury collaboration with New Balance on the 2002 R on the Peace Be The Journey colorway. This debut collaboration between Versace's VP of Footwear, Salehi Benbury, with New Balance released on October 23rd for a retail price of $150 US dollars or $200 here in Canada. The official colorway for this shoe is Desert Gold and Aspen and the product code is ML2002R1. So this shoe is heavily inspired by the outdoors, and the colorway for this shoe is specifically inspired by Antelope Canyon down in Arizona. When I saw the initial leaked images of this shoe, I was for some reason immediately drawn to it. I know this is not going to be a shoe for everyone, and I personally know a lot of people that absolutely hate the design of the shoe, but at the same time, there's a good number of people that really like it as well. So you can definitely say that Salehi didn't play it safe for his debut collab. So first off, here's a quick look at the box. These come in a custom designed box, which is covered in this graphic, and I'm pretty sure this is a picture of Antelope Canyon. On the bottom right, we have the New Balance logo, and then on this side, we have the tagline for this collab, Peace Be The Journey. As for the shoes, these are constructed using a wide array of materials. Starting things off with the toe box, this is covered in this yellow colored open mesh, and we have overlays of maroon giving it a very nice contrast. Surrounding the outer edge of the toe box, here we have this hairy suede, which is done in this burnt orange color. And this suede covers the entire mid panel of the shoe as well. In the middle, we have this blue colored Shearling New Balance logo, and this is supposed to represent the blue sky. This is outlined with light blue and maroon colored embroidery. Moving downwards, surrounding the top ankle collar area, here we have more of that yellow colored mesh. And then below this, we have this aged looking dark orange or brown colored leather, and we have 2002 R debossed on it. Below this, we have more of that hairy suede which wraps around the back heel, and then underneath this, we have this perforated orange suede. Right above this, we have this triangular open space, and this is covered with this almost fingerprint looking design, which has this rubberized feel to it. Moving back down to the laces, these come with these burnt orange colored laces, but they also give you three extra lace options if you want to change up the look. But I'm probably going to keep these orange laces on it, I think it really ties the design all together. Running down the center, we also have this Salehi Benbury branding as well, which is done in this blue colored lettering. Underneath the laces, we have the tongue, so the bottom half of the tongue is constructed out of yellow colored mesh, the top of the tongue is constructed out of that burnt orange colored leather, and in the middle we have this oval shaped cutout with New Balance running branding. Taking off the insoles, these come with these cork lined insoles, which is a very nice premium touch. And on the heel we have both the New Balance logo and Salehi Benbury's name, which is stamped on in white. So the upper of the 2002R sits atop this very chunky midsole. This midsole is constructed out of a combination of Absorb and Absorb SBS technology, along with the New Balance Energy Cushioning System. One thing I learned recently is that the midsole is taken directly from the New Balance 860 V2, so if it looks familiar to you, this is why. This midsole is colored in white, with a splattering of orange paint found throughout. And then underneath the heel you'll see these pillars, which sort of reminds me of Nike Shocks but it's much more low profile. This is New Balance Energy, and this gives you a ton of heel impact protection, and in this case this is done in this vintage looking yellow color. The medial side of the midsole is a little bit different, so here a good chunk of the foam is done in this maroon or dark red color, and we have this diamond like shape which is found throughout. Turning the shoe over to the bottom, here we have your outsole. So for the most part, this is constructed out of this dark red or maroon colored endurance rubber. And in the middle, you'll see there's this TPU, which is what New Balance calls their stability web system. And this gives you torsional rigidity and midfoot support. So that breaks down the look and the construction of this pair. For those wondering how these fit, I'm a true size 10 slightly on the wider side. I got these in a size 10 and overall they fit me great. So generally speaking, I'm a 9.5 or a 10 in most of my New Balances. These ones definitely fit much more true to size compared to other models like for example, the 998, the 990 V5, and the 992. So all in all, if you haven't worn New Balances before, I'd say it's safe to stick true to size for this model. Moving on to the topic of comfort, so I've covered this in my previous review of the 2002R, but overall I feel like this shoe is very very comfortable. To me, it gives me a good balance between softness, cushioning, and support, and it's a shoe that's not going to be overly soft, so if you're someone like me who gets pain in the arches of their feet when the cushioning system is way too soft, you're really going to enjoy the feel of these on feet. The upper of the shoe is also very airy because of the mesh, so it's also very breathable as well, which is a nice added bonus. Finally, quickly touching upon the quality and the craftsmanship on this pair. While this is not a made in USA release, this pair is actually made in Vietnam. Overall, I was very impressed with the quality. The materials, they felt very nice in hand, and even though there's so much variety in the materials used, to me it felt like all the components were really high quality. 
To add to that, the craftsmanship on my pair at least, I had no issues with it at all. So all in all, a very solid release from New Balance. But honestly, at this point, I'm really not surprised. With all that being said, now let's lace these up and I'll show you guys how these look on feet. All in all, this is a very unique looking collab. For sure, this is not gonna be a shoe that everyone's gonna appreciate. And even for someone like me, I'm not really sure how I'm gonna rock these. It's kind of a tough shoe to pull off, but I really like the design of the sneaker. And I love how it really exudes the theme of being outdoors and how the colors really remind me of Antelope Canyon. So let me know in the comments down below what you guys think about the Salehi Benbury collaboration with New Balance on the 2002R. How do you guys feel about the design of this shoe? Is it something that you guys would rock or is it just way too out there for you guys to pull off? If you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Give me a follow on Instagram at sgo8. Check out my Twitter at sean.go and visit my website as well at seango.ca. So until next time, thanks so much for tuning in. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video and I'll catch you guys all in my next review.